Hi, I'm Roy Kilgard, and I'm an astronomer here at Wesleyan University, and today we're going to be demonstrating the Millionaire Mechanical Calculating Machine. The Millionaire is a mechanical calculator from the late part of the 19th century. It was patented in Zurich in 1895, and this particular model is from very shortly thereafter, probably 1897, 1899, something like that. Um, the thing that made this mechanical calculator special compared with earlier machines is that it was capable of direct multiplication. Uh, in earlier machines, if you wanted to do multiplication, you were really doing stepwise addition. So if you wanted to multiply something by five, you had to turn a crank five times. Whereas if you wanted to multiply something by 500, you'd have to turn the crank 500 times and your arm would get pretty worn out before you could do a simple calculation. So this machine could do direct multiplication, which is a real advancement in technology. It could also store up to an eight-digit number in its, in its memory, if you will. And if you compare that with a, a modern computer, that's somewhere between three and four bytes of information in a temporary buffer. So it's not much information, but it's pretty good for 1895. This particular machine arrived at Wesleyan in 1915. And they opted to save about $100 by purchasing a factory refurbished model. So this has allowed us to have one of the most pristine examples of one of these machines from the 19th century because it got a factory refurbishment about 20 years into its lifetime and then arrived here. Uh, it was purchased for about $250, uh, which in today's dollars is somewhere between six dollars and $7,000. So that'd be a pretty hefty computer if you were to purchase it today. Astronomical calculations are both complex and require very high precision which is why the ability to do these calculations to so many significant digits is really crucial. Machines like the Millionaire provide an important link between astronomy and computation at the early part of the 20th century.